It's your boy, Big D West 95 Today, I have probably one of my most exciting videos. I'm very happy to bring you this. So, before Thanksgiving, I have been building a Polymer 80 um, Glock 17. So, I finally got it finished. It is the Polymer PF940 version 2. And I am so excited to give you this video. You have no idea. So, we're gonna get right to it. Guys, so here it is. I just wanna start off by clearing the mag out, showing that it's empty, it's indeed empty. So this is the, uh, the Polymer 80 PF940 version two. And I'll just give you a, a parts lineup of what I got going on. So as you can see, I, this is my first attempt stippling a grip. So the frame is actually the ready mod version, so it came smooth. Um, I just decided that to go with the ready mod to try and stipple it myself. It didn't turn out too good. It was my first try though. I'm thinking about ordering another frame with uh, the regular texture they have. So right off the bat, I have this um, Magpul Magwell. I'm gonna have a Magpul magazine. Uh, the slide is a Brownells slide. It has a window up top for the barrel, front end rear serrations. I put an American flag backplate on the Glock slide. The uh, This is kind of like a budget build I got going on, so I was kind of trying to save money as much as I could. I waited for the slide, or for the frame to go on sale. I got it for an awesome price. I think it was like 100 bucks. The slide, I also waited to go on sale. Brano sells them for, I think, normally around $209. And I think I picked this up for around $159 when it was on sale. Um, the trigger kit and the slide parts kit were just um, OEM Glock. So I think I got them from uh, Midway. This was a uh, gift from my fiance for Christmas, so I'm not quite sure how much it was. The back plate, the the sights are actually, and this is funny. Uh, when you bought, my fiance has a FMK 9C1 G2, and they come with two sets of sights. So we just used their backup sights on the on the Glock slide. <clears throat> the barrel is a um, a Combat Armory stainless steel barrel, threaded, uh, half inch by 28. This light is awesome. It's a Aim Aimcon. I got it off Amazon. This one, this one, or I'm sorry, it was twenty bucks. It has the click from this side to on, and then you cycle it one more time, and it goes to strobe. This one was a um, a refurbished one, but it was like like new, no blemishes. Guaranteed that it worked. So yeah, I got it for, for like 20 bucks. They're normally good for about 30 But it's awesome So Honestly for being a stock Glock trigger it has a really clean take up crisp break And then the reset I don't understand why it's so nice. It doesn't feel heavy or nothing it has the uh the safety here on the trigger, but again, I'll show you that. No mush, clean take up, hits the wall, crisp break, and then the reset. It's it's really awesome. Um, I stippled underneath the uh, trigger guard, and I I stippled the ramps right here, and I stippled the grip, and it really needs work. I didn't get to sand it up yet. I just got so excited that I wanted to do this video. Um, this magwell. Is actually for uh, Glock 19. I think I need to get the bigger one. There's a little gap right here. You can kind of see through. But other than that, it, it fits pretty nice. Yeah, so the polymer frame comes with kind of like a flared mag hole as it is. But the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the mag, the magwell has like a really nice flared. So it, it's very easy for uh, reloads, quick end reloads. Um, now, I did hear some bad things about these magwells. These are just the polymer ones. 
but um, with some base plates uh, on, on your magazines, they're not compatible with this Magwell. But I got the Magpul magazine and the and the Magpul Magwell, so they work perfectly together. So the barrel is just a stainless steel barrel. But I'm telling you right now, these are like the cheapest barrels you can buy online. Uh, Combat Armory. They're, I think they were they were normally 120 bucks, but they were like 50% off for some reason, so I pulled the trigger on them. I got literally this barrel for 60 bucks, and then the uh, thread protector was sold separately, but it was like 5 or 6 bucks. So literally this was like probably the cheapest way I could build this, this gun. So... I'm in love with it. We're going to do a video on it at the range. So let's break this gun down. Again, show that it's clear. <clears throat> so I just want to kind of show you the, the frame here. I didn't do the best job on this. So the, when it comes... It comes with uh, with these rails right here. There's some right here. And there's some on the back. So I took a Dremel tool and I grinded them down as good as I can. You can still kind of see it's a little rough there. And then inside here is, you need to give it all this material right here. And as you can see, like when I was using the press, the bit kind of skipped and made some scoring here, but it's like perfect, like it's the right depth so it doesn't catch anything. I need to get some sandpaper and sand all this down and I also want to like sand the grip down a little bit better to make it look a little nicer. And then for the, for the slide, like I said, it's just a stock slide, slide, uh, part slide kit, except for the back plate, which I'm pretty sure it's off Amazon, so. But I'm in love with this. This this slide is awesome. Brownells makes some really good priced after uh, aftermarket slides. I was gonna get one milled, but this isn't like gonna be a competition gun or anything. I was just trying to build this gun for as cheaply as possible, honestly. So, thank you guys so much for watching this. I can't wait to get some better footage of this gun. I'm gonna take it out and shoot it this weekend. But yeah, I'm in love. I'm so excited that it came. Super duper excited. I've been waiting so long for this. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy store. I was like at work all day trying to get home just to, because I knew that it was coming, uh, I knew that the rest of the parts were coming today. So yeah, just the color scheme that I went with was just the, the black slide, the black magwell, and the gray, the gray frame. The only reason I got the uh, stainless steel barrel, they, they actually sell a, a black coated barrel, but I just wanted to break it up a little bit, so that's why I went with the stainless steel. Yeah, so it took me a while to build this just because I was uh, waiting for parts to become cheaper over periods of time. As soon as something went on sale, that's when I'd look for it. So I think this build only put me around, I'd say only around like $450 for a Glock 17 build. That's really good. I mean, but I was very patient. It's been it's been a couple months in the making, so I hope y'all enjoyed, and I hope y'all are ready to see some footage of this thing at the range. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was short and sweet. I didn't really get to talk about it too much. I'm just I was just really excited to show you guys how awesome this thing is. Um, the person that inspired me to do this was a uh, Jonathan over at Tactical Toolbox. If you guys aren't aren't aware of his channel, he has great content. He's the one that inspired me to do my, my first Polymer 80 build. This will not be my first. This will not be my last Polymer 80 build. It was my first, I should say. This will not be my last Polymer 80 build. I love this thing. Again, this, this light, this strobe is awesome. It's uh, advertised for 500 lumens. So like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really can't wait to get you guys some range footage of this thing. It's, it's amazing. It's just an awesome, awesome gun. So hopefully everything works out with it at the range. I didn't have any tests on it yet, so we'll be seeing it here first. Uh, stay tuned this weekend. 
All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this content, make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button, a little bell notification icon so you're notified when I, when I post videos. Take it easy, guys.